back to another episode of Ask the Expert uh, here at Silka. I'm Travis, the e-commerce manager. Uh, today we're going to answer uh, one of your favorite questions, how to pour in tire sealant. So um, today we have a bottle of our 16 ounce um, ultimate tire, tubeless tire sealant with fiber foam. Um, and then we have a little uh, measuring jar here and we've got our uh, Zip 303 Firecrest with a 40 millimeter uh, gravel tire on it. So. Um, we're going to measure it out, mount it up, and we'll go from there. All right, the first step, uh, we're going to want to shake up the sealant really well. You'll probably see a few carbon fibers hanging out on the bottom. You want to shake it up until that is all mixed in. So we'll, we'll give it a good shake. And for the gravel tire, we're going to want to use uh, about three millimeters of sealant. If you use a little more, that's okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and measure that out. We have our tire mounted on one side. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount this second side almost all the way around, uh, pour the sealant in, and then we'll mount the rest of the tire. All right, so now we're ready to mount the tire. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start at the opposite end of the valve, and we're going to finish at the valve. And what that does is lets us take advantage of that little U-shape in the rim. Um, gives us a little bit easier time getting the tire on. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this other side mounted all right now that we have it most of the way on uh, this will really help from spilling any extra sealant or anything so we're gonna mix this up dump our sealant in And then we're just going to rotate the tire so all that liquid sits inside and we don't make a mess. And then we're just going to finish installing the tire. There we go. Alrighty, now that we have the tire mounted, the sealant in, um, you can inflate it with a couple different options. So, uh, some setups will allow you to just use a regular floor pump. Uh, you have a canister that you can use or uh, probably the easiest if you have access to it is a compressor. Just give it a quick blast of air to seat the tire and then inflate it to the pressure you want to ride. Thanks for joining us for another episode here of Ask the Expert at Silka. Um, hope we answered all of your questions on mounting tubeless tires. If you have any more, feel free to send them over at sales at silka.cc and we'll be happy to get them answered.